everyone, welcome to the 12th Man Perspective, the one and only Aggie Athletics student show. I'm Lauren Masters. And I'm Brian Jones. Later on, we're going to take a look at how our women's basketball team has done this season. But first, I have some trivia for my co-host. Did you know that Texas A&M played Baylor three times in 1903? I didn't know that, but let's see if the student body knows a little bit more than I do. Our very own Cesar Escalante went out to campus to see just how much the 12th man knows about Aggie Athletics. Hi. I'm Cesar Escalante and we're outside the MSC and we're going to find out what Aggie students know about Aggie athletics. In what year did Texas A&M women's basketball win the national championship? I have no idea. 1989. <laughs> I have no 2010? Oh, one away. You were this close to winning my phone number, but you know. 2011. Correct. All right. Fantastic. That's a high five. What year did Johnny Manziel win the Heisman Trophy? Oh, wow. Huh. You're going to say 2013. Yeah, that was the year before this season, which is, so 2012? 2012, that is correct. And you get a prize. You win uh, this picture uh, of me. So you. you're welcome. What game did Texas A&M break the attendance record at Kyle Field? Was it Florida? No, that is not correct. I'm trying to think. It was the Nebraska game, I think. Okay, that's right. Yeah. Excuse me, Miss. Do you want to take a quick second to talk to us, please? It'll be fun. It'll be fun. I promise. Begging, then sure. I, I, I always beg women, and it always works. Guilt <laughs> always works on a girl, I swear. Uh, can you name what NFL team former Texas A&M quarterback Ryan Tannehill plays for? Not at all. Uh, what year did the Texas A&M women's basketball win the national championship? Not a clue. What's Kevin Sumlin's middle name? I didn't know that guy existed. Okay. Okay, we're asking a bunch of students trivia questions. If you got the question right, you win my phone number and a date with me. Okay, here we go. Can you name the athletic conference Texas A&M currently plays for? SEC. Can you name the conference we were in before that? Big 12. Can you name the conference we were in before that? Southwest Conference. <laughs> uh, and what is Kevin Sumlin's middle name? Oh. What is Kevin Sumlin's middle name? Uh, yes, sir. All right, and what is Kevin Sumlin's middle name? Uh, yes, sir. That's actually the second yes sir we've gotten today. Really? That, that might be his middle name, actually. All right, last thing. Do you want to ask uh, me a few questions? Uh, yes, you do. Sure, okay, yeah. Come up with anything. I got this. Here we go. Who are the seven Medal of Honor recipients that A&M currently has? Oh, gosh, no. Uh, Horace S. Carswell Jr., George D. Keithley, Thomas W. Fowler, Attorney W. Leonard, William G. Harrell, and Eli L. Whiteley. Well, I definitely feel better about myself. I'm not the only one who needs to brush up on my facts. But on a different note, we couldn't be more proud of our women's basketball team. Let's take a look at their journey this season. The number 14 ranked Aggie women's basketball team finished an impressive season with a record of 27 and nine, with only two losses at home and earned a spot in an NCAA tournament. The first two rounds of the tourney was hosted right here at home in Reed Arena. After winning the second round, the Aggies advanced to the Sweet 16 to play DePaul and won 84 to 65 to advance to the Elite Eight. In the Elite Eight round, the Aggies suffered a loss to the number one ranked and undefeated UConn in Lincoln, New England, 69 to 54, which ended the Aggies NCAA tournament run. Carla Gilbert, a senior center, played well throughout the season and the tournament. She started all 32 games and averaged 27.8 minutes per game. She shot 61% from the field and averaged seven and a half rebounds per game. In the NCAA tournament, she shot 51% while scoring 40 points and averaged eight rebounds per game. The Ags are preparing for the new season as they chase the national championship title in 2015. With spring sports in full swing, Lots of great plays are being made. Here are some of our Aggie athletes at their finest. Last Friday, Jackson Withrow clinched Texas A&M's upset victory over the seventh-ranked Georgia Bulldogs with his three-set win gliding the Aggies into first place for the SEC standings. Withrow was also named SEC Men's Tennis Player of the Week based on his weekend's performance. Although the season came to an end in the Elite Eight, the Aggie women put up a fight against the Huskers in Lincoln, Nebraska. Courtney Walker had an outstanding game, finishing as the Aggies' leading scorer and selected as an All-American by the Associated Press. 
Walker becomes only the eighth player in program history to achieve this honor. Lastly, on Tuesday, Aggie Baseball hosted the 12th ranked Houston Cougars. Trailing 2-0 going into the bottom of the third, the Aggies started their rally hot, scoring a run early in the frame. Then Cole Lankford stepped up to the plate. With a 1-2 pitch, he hit a big home run over the right field wall to give AM the 4-2 lead. Make sure to subscribe to Aggie Athletics on Twitter and YouTube. And don't miss Toast with Totes every other Friday. Until next time, I'm Lauren Masters. I'm Brian Jones. Thanks, Thanks and giggle.